Welcome. So what I want to do is show you how to convert negative 135 degrees and 36 seconds to decimal form. What did you just say? Seconds? Where do seconds come from? Here's where seconds come from, all right? When we're looking into degrees, minutes and seconds, you can think of minutes and seconds very much like you can think of hours, minutes and seconds. Where we have 60 minutes an hour, we also have 60 minutes inside of a degree. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a little table here. One degree obviously is equal to one degree. 60 minutes are equal to one degree. So whenever you have 60 minutes of something, that's equal to a degree. That's a way for us to break up uh, minutes and, uh, I'm sorry, break up degrees rather than saying like 1.5 degrees. You could also break it up into minutes and seconds. Where if it takes 60 minutes to make up one degree and it takes 60 seconds to make up one minute, therefore it's going to take 3,600 seconds to make up one degree. So how do I find the decimal value of negative 135 degrees and 35 seconds? Well, what we can do, without worrying about our negative, I'm going to kind of factor that out right now. What we do is we take, we take our, um, we take our, ang we take our degree, and what we say is we want to write. Well, how many minutes do I have of each uh, of each form? Because if I have plus 60 minutes, plus how many uh, degrees or seconds? So that's ought to be 3,600. Okay. So out in the minutes, you can see there's no extra minutes. So I'm going to put a zero over there. But out of the 3,600, though, I have 36 seconds. All right. So what I do is I take how many minutes I have, and I put it over 60. And then I put how many seconds I have, I have over 60. And I'm going to add all these up to 135 degrees. I'm not going to be concerned with the negative, as the negative is just telling me the direction. It's not telling me the value of the angle. So I, only ha I don't have any minutes. There's no minutes there. So it's zero minutes. So that's not going to apply in. So I have 135 degrees plus 36 divided by 3,600 is going to be 0.01. So therefore, when I add them up, I get a negative 135.01 degrees. So therefore, that's going to be now, that's going to be my, uh, my measurement in decimal form. So I hope that understands. You guys got to understand how minutes, degrees, and seconds are related to each other. And then what you do is you just take your angle and add the number of minutes and seconds you have. And there you go. Add it in. So there you go. Uh, and remember, since um, 36 seconds is a part of a degree, you need to write, your, write it as your fraction so you can get that exact decimal part of your angle. So there you go. I hope you, uh, hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, comments, please leave below. Thanks.